Shalom, all praise, glory, and honor going to the Most High Power, Yahweh, in the name of His beloved Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that do real exceptionally well. And also Shalom, citations, mercy, and blessings to all you sincere brothers out there pushing this word with truth and with faith. My name is Thabwa, a mouth of Great Millstone Northwest. And um, hey, brothers, Bokasha, bear with me uh, through this lesson. Um, my eye, my eye is hurt, man. <laughs> I hurt my eye in a um in a work incident, you know. So um, my eye is a little, my eye is a little, uh, 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 it's a little hurt at the moment. So Bubba Kasha, bear with me. Um, if I take it slow a little bit on this lesson, but actually that's ex exactly what I want to speak about. Um, and Lord willing, this won't be too long. But um, we're supposed to have infirmities in this flesh, man. You know, we're going to have infirmities in this flesh. And we have a lot of brothers that have, you know, problems in the flesh, whether it be back problems or, you know, uh, your tooth be messing with you, you know, or, or you got constantly getting headaches or, you know, this aches or that aches or you got this um, thing going with your blood pressure issues and uh, so what and so forth, man. All of us got something going on and our, our bodies are constantly being broken down. And that's because we live underneath the devil, man. We live underneath the oppression of the devil who destroys everything and who, who pollutes everything. And it's not, it's against the natural way that we're supposed to do things, you know. But you're supposed to take a little bit of comfort in those weaknesses, man. You know, we're not a, us here at Great Millstone, all right. We're not a reprobate group that would say that we are not weak. There are some groups out there. There's one specific group out there, and I'm sure you brothers can quote the lyrics to a certain song that they have put out, where they claim that they are not weak and that they have never been weak. But yet, a lot of great men in the scriptures have been weak, man. All right, have had something going on with them. I'm talking about holy men, men that that uh, Yahweh Shai and the Most High Power Yahweh was uh, was dealing with uh, exclusively. You know, they were uh, f suffering certain infirmities and, and certain uh, uh, sufferings, certain pains, and certain um, 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 diseases and, and, and ailments, man. You know, and uh, likewise with us facing that type of thing. You know, we that's that's actually a little bit of something we should be able to rejoice in, knowing that we're not bastards, that we are getting, uh, there's got to be something to jack us up, man. In fact, if we look into it, Paul had infirmities, and we all are aware of this, so let's go to that example um, about Paul and his infirmities and how he felt about it. And that's going to be found here in the book of Second Corinthians, um, the 12th chapter, you know. Uh, what is it? I forget exactly which verse it is. I just know it's this chapter. Um, now we can start right here. Second Corinthians chapter 12. Um, we'll start right here at verse 6. It says, For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. For I will say the truth, but now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. And least I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of revelation of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, least I should be exalted above measure. And I see this as Paul Paul being extremely humble, saying that he received this thorn in the flesh, which it doesn't speak on if it's an actual thorn in the flesh, but we know it is indeed an ailment, uh, um, something. Uh, uh, that was troubling him, uh, his body, right? So it can be speculated that it, it was some type of ailment. But he was given that, um, and he says that he won't be exalted above measure, man. So he's he's being humble when, while he's saying this. Although he would like to desire, he said he's not going to be a fool, man. He's not going to try to put himself on some type of pedestal or, or, or rise himself above what he needs to be because he understands that there are weaknesses. We all do indeed have weaknesses, man. All right. Reading on verse 8, it says, For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And said, and he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Ooh. That's Yahweh Shai speaking. You can see it there in the red letters. For my grace is sufficient for thee, man. And that's the mindset that you got to have. Even though we got these ailments and, and, you know, we pray that we can get better. 
Uh, but even more so, we should be praying that we just continue to endure whatever it is, man. Like right now, my eye is tearing me up. It's completely, you know, it's it's very sensitive to light right now. Um, uh, uh, it's causing me a lot of pain anytime I'm moving it around, and you know. Uh, but guess what? Yahweh Shai's grace is sufficient for thee, man. And it says, "For my strength is made perfect in weakness." All right. Yahweh Shai's strength is made perfect in weakness. You know. It says, "Most gladly, therefore, I would rather glory in my infirmities." That the power of Yahweh Shai may rest upon me, man. So look, a hey, to a hey, a, hey, you know, put a smile on your face when you feel that pain, man. When you feel a little bit of uh, of pain going going through you, put a smile on your face. If you brothers have never heard the song by Imagine Imagination Dragons called Believer, I suggest you look up that song, Believer, man, and 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 look it up with the lyrics. You know, listen to the song and listen to the lyrics, man. And he speaks on how he became a believer through the pain. You know, through the pain that he was receiving, he became a, a believer, man. You know, and if you're looking, if you're listening to that song with a spiritual ear, it's it's a very spiritual song indeed. It's a very beautiful uh, uh, song indeed, man. So I, I suggest, brothers, if you're not familiar with that song, uh, to go ahead and check it out. But Yahweh Shai is made his strength is made perfect through our weaknesses, man. You know, we can't we can't escape the fact that we're in this flesh, and this flesh is extremely weak, man. This flesh is extremely weak, uh, mentally and physically, you know? Uh, uh, we're poisoned on, on both aspects, man. Your mind is being poisoned by all the all the nonsense and, and, and hoopla that Esau pushes out. And your body is poisoned through all the nonsense and the hoopla that Esau pushes out, man. You know? There's nothing that we can do about it. But that's why it says, therefore, I take pleasure in, 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 in uh, it's like a... Uh, reading verse 10, therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distress for Yahweh Shai's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong, man. All right. So whether it be an infirmity of the flesh or an infirmity of the mind, guess what? You take that and you take it cheerfully, man, and you keep on trucking, man. All right. You can't show that you are. How, how are you possibly strong if you have no weaknesses to overcome? You know, how can you claim that you are strong? It's like I'm going to pull the screen down every now and then to make sure the clock's still ticking because the screen will cut off on me. So um, how can you prove that you are strong if you never overcome any weaknesses? You know, um, but that's that's pretty much the point, man. It says uh, for when I am weak. Then I am strong. Why? Because Yahweh Shai is indeed with us. What proves that Yahweh Shai is with us? Well, let's read this real quick, man. Let's read this very important scripture that some people just seem to to forget. All right, why they want to clown on other brothers, make fun of brothers about having infirmities or about going through certain uh, uh, hard times and heartaches and whatnot? Uh, check out this scripture here, man. This is Matthew chapter nine. Um, Slack. Ah, my eye. See, right now my eye, I I I looked up real fast and oh man. Salak, I gotta I gotta wipe my eye real quick. Salak, bear with me. Bear with me, Bubba Ksha. Ooh wee. Ah, all right. Um, I'm gonna try to push through this. It says, um, where where do I want? Where do I want? This is uh Matthew chapter nine. Verse um. Verse 12, okay? Actually, verse 11, all right? Actually, verse 10. Matthew chapter 9, verse 10. And it came to pass that Yahweh Shai sat at meat in the house. Behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? But when Yahweh Shai heard that, he said unto them, They that behold need not a physician, but they that are sick. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. Okay? But go ye and learn what that meaneth. So for all you guys that got something to say about brothers having some type of infirmity or going through some type of struggle, 
You know what I'm saying? Check it out. Go and learn what that means, man, when he says that they, they that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. It's the same thing today, man. It's not those that are whole. Those that, that say they got a clean bill of health, they're all healthy, and they got uh, uh, this and that. Well, what do you need Yahweh Shai for, man? You know, if you're boasting yourself on that stuff, what do you need Yahweh Shai for? Because I can guarantee you, every single last one of us here on earth got something. Every single last one of us here on earth got something wrong with them, man. Not none of us is perfect, man. All right? Through our through our weaknesses, <laughs> Yahweh Shai's uh, bring forth his strength, man. All right? It says, uh, but, but go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am not come to the righteous, but sinners to repentance, man. All right? And we all are going through stuff due to our own, uh, well, it's all part of our own personal walk, which the Most High has described, uh, 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 prescribed to us, man. You know? And it may be, it may be because of sin, or it may be to, to increase our faith. Either way, we got to keep on trucking through it, man. Whatever it is, you know, you twist that ankle. Hey, we still got to march. We still got to march, man. You know, so so one one foot in front of the other. I want to grab another scripture uh, that Paul said too. This is from uh, Romans the ninth chapter. I'm sorry, uh, Romans the eighth chapter. Uh, let me grab that real quick. Bear with me. Um, snaps past it. I kept on scrolling. Romans chapter eight. Ah, snaps. Uh, verse uh, verse twenty six. And like I said, Bob Kasha, bear with me, man. All right, one of my eyes is extremely jacked up. It says, um, uh, this is Romans chapter eight, verse twenty six. Likewise, the spirit also heareth our infirmities. Okay, so uh, uh, our spirit hears our, our infirmities, and like I said, this isn't just a physical thing; it's a mental thing too. It's not just a physical thing. It's a mental thing, too. All right. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings, which cannot be uttered, man. All right. So you may be even vexed just just walking out in the street in the world. That's that's another form of an infirmity. That's another form of something that's troubling you. You know, that's deeply troubling you. All right. Uh, it says, uh, and he that searcheth. The hearts knoweth what the mind of the knoweth what is the mind of the spirit, because he maketh intercession, intercession salakia for the saints according to the will of the Most High, and that's Yahweh Shai, man, the one that knoweth the hearts or knoweth the mind of the spirit. That's Yahweh Shai. He makes intercessions for his saints, man. Okay, I want to look up this word, so let's flip to the blue letter. Um, what is this? Romans eight and twenty-seven. Let's uh, flip to the Blue Letter Bible real quick so we can look up this word um, infirmities, you know, because it's, it's, it's truly a two part word, man. OK, so let's go to the New Testament, to Romans, the eighth chapter. All right. And we're going to look at verse um, 27. Oh, man. OK, verse 27. Uh, select. Verse 26, actually, we're going to look at verse 26. We're going to look at um, this word here for infirmities. All right. This word here, the word is pronounced. Uh, let's see. It's pronounced Astanaya. Astanaya is how the word is pronounced. It says, um, Want of strength, weakness, infirmity of the body. All right, this is the first, uh, 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 I told you, it's a two-part word. First part is a weakness of the body, a want of strength or a weakness or an infirmity of the body. All right, it's native weakness and uh, frail, frail, frailty, uh, feebleness of heart or sickness. Okay, and then the second part is of the soul, man. Like I said, it's a two-part thing. So it's of your, it's of the mind and it's of the body, man. It's of your mental. It's a mental thing and it's a physical thing. It says a want of strength and capacity, uh, uh requisite to understand a thing, to do things great and glorious, to restrain corrupt desires. 
uh, to bear trials and troubles, man. And that's what we have to do. We got to bear trials and troubles. We got to uh, uh, understand certain things, man. And we got to fight the weakness that is uh, indeed in our body, man, through these different uh, ailments and uh, diseases that are uh, placed upon the earth and upon men, you know. But either way, Yahweh Shai is coming to heal us from this stuff, man. When we get to the kingdom, we won't have to worry about none of this. So suffer it now. So that way you won't have to worry about it uh, in the long run, man. You know, you got to look. There's a lot of people that are short sighted. You got to look at the big picture, you know. But, um, hey, man, that's pretty much it. Man, Lord Willing Brothers was edified by this uh, uh, and comforted knowing that Yahweh Shai is indeed coming to heal those that are sick, man. So if you got some type of ailment, you got something going on with your body that's, that's kind of jacking you up right now. Hey, hey, take that cheerfully, man, and praise the most high. Because uh, 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 it, re it should remind you that Yahweh Shai is going to come and he's going to take that pain away from you. And he's the only one that can indeed come and take that pain away from you, man. All right. So, um, again, all praise is going on to the most high power. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone. Shalom, citations and mercy and blessings to all you sincere brothers out there pushing this word with truth and with faith. Until next time, Shalom.